Greg, we spoke before the game. You said you guys were really opportunistic on Saturday. Was today just kind of the opposite of that? Because it seemed like you guys had some good scoring chances. A little bit, yeah, for sure. The first period, I thought we had a tough start. We let some things in behind us. But once the second period got going, I thought we controlled the game. We had things going our way. Uh, their goaltender had a great game. Just couldn't find the back of the net. But in terms of process and not looking at results, I thought second, third period was a step in the right direction for the team. And Joseph Wall, he had a strong game despite the loss. What did you see from your goaltender today? Yeah, he came up huge. He gave us a chance to stay in the game and, and give us a chance to win. Uh, he's a young goaltender with a bright future, and we look forward to giving him more reps and, and seeing how he grows. And just looking ahead to practice this week, uh, what are you guys going to work on? Well, not a lot of practice. we got two games coming up the next two days, so we'll teach via video. Uh, we'll get back to, to some things tomorrow and go from there. Greg, can you elaborate on what you learned in the two weeks that you spent with the Toronto Maple Leafs? Sure. More, more of the process, how things are done here, but... Um, it was a good opportunity for me to get to know the staff, uh, get to know the details of the game. We want to make sure that there's some cohesion between the two clubs. So when players are coming and going, we're never setting them up for success. So that was the majority of the time and just kind of um, feeling my way through the process of how to utilize the resources and what the goals are of the organization. Even with all the prospects on, on the roster, there's still a decent amount of veterans. How have, how have had, um, having more developed and established guys helped with the sort of acclimation process midseason? It helps big time. Anytime you have older guys that have a ton of experience and have weathered through some ups and downs to lean on, the culture here in the room is really good, really strong, and uh, a good group of guys to work with. So uh, the younger guys definitely have uh, that benefit of, of leaning on them. Have you talked to Sheldon all about, any, you know, about the guys or any of the systems or anything like that since taking over? Yeah, the two weeks there, we, we talked a lot about the players and get to know some of the personalities before I stepped in here. And I'll get my own read on the guys, too. But it was nice to uh, have some background before just jumping into your first game. You and Callie kind of came into this group at the exact same time, so to speak. Uh, how do you kind of balance acclimating yourself but kind of helping him get involved with the, the team as well? I think no real difference than anybody else. Um, everything's fresh and new to me. so. I kind of have a different new perspective on everything, and it doesn't matter whether a guy was here for a while or not, so that's just how I'm approaching it. How have you felt about him in these two games? Uh, good. Uh, steps in the right direction. Obviously, you haven't played in a while. It's going to take time for a player like that to get their game timing down and reads and a feel for things, but overall, you can tell his skill, his brain is there, and uh, I, I expect every rep to get better and better. A guy like Joseph Duzak was down in the ECHL, and then he comes up and he's out in the last couple seconds of the game trying to get a tie there. Is that sort of a, a thing about putting the young guys in positions to succeed like that? Is that something that you're trying to install here? Absolutely. We definitely value our young prospects, and we want to give them reps in the right spots to grow and develop and get better. And uh, He was a good example today. I thought he did a good job, uh, read through some things, but you can tell that he's fe he feels comfortable under pressure even at this level to make plays and, and get the team going in the right direction. You swapped your two or three defense pairs after the first period. Um, what, we, what did you hope to achieve during that time, and did you see it, um, the second and third pair? Uh, yeah, Rob made the adjustment. I trust him. He's been around the group longer than I have, so he has a better feel for the players. On the back end, uh, you know, he just wants to make sure that he's putting guys on the ice that are in a spot to be successful, and sometimes other guys just gel better with other players, and uh, I trust his, his reads.